back to my channel, it's your girl Deja. I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a how-to on how I've been doing my wigs. You guys know I've been loving the no baby hairs trend. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got that look, then just stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Bros Forever New York for sponsoring this video. And you guys know I've been working with them for a long time. I've had the um I've had the gray flowers, the black flowers. I had some white flowers that came in a black velvet. And now look at the one I have, y'all. Ah, it's so pretty. If you guys hear Maxie running around laughing, y'all know how he is. But yes, look how pretty these are. And it comes with the drawer. It's still closed because I didn't I was trying not to touch it too much. So you could take, you guys know I usually take the lid off. And let me give you guys a, a better look at the roses. Gorgeous. And these roses usually last you about a year or more. Mine's have, I've been living here for over two years, so mine's last me a long time. I still have all my roses that I rotate depending on the season. <laughs> and this has to be my all time favorite. The black one was my favorite because I love the drawer. And usually I use this as a compartment to keep my lip glosses or something. That I just, or like maybe like my small perfumes. It depends on my mood. But yes, this has to be my all-time favorite. I do have a sale. I do have a coupon code for you guys because they are having a Mother's Day sale. So if you guys want to get somebody a gift or get these for yourself, then you guys just use my link down below in the description box. And I think my coupon code is probably Punky25. Something along that line, y'all. And I, you know, I've been loving these flowers. And I do think that is so worth it and i am someone that also buys roses and flowers for my my kitchen and stuff but for my bedroom i just feel like it's like a decor a piece like it's like a unlimited rose piece okay like so it's just it just makes me so happy i feel like it goes well with my house i've been um changing my decor and everything to make everything here more brighter and i feel like this goes perfectly and look how cute the heart is. I had to have the heart. Oh, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. I'm super excited. So this goes perfect in my room. My room is white, come through purity. Yeah, my room is white, it's gorgeous in there. And I feel like this just makes my room look even better. I wish that they had like a, actually they do have a big one. And I, and I actually lean it up on my dresser to the side like this so you can actually see the heart. You don't have to lay it flat like this, which I also love. And yes, y'all. So I think I'm thinking about actually getting me like a huge one for my kitchen, just up in the center of my table. This is a perfect centerpiece, and I love it. You guys, know I've been putting you guys on for a little minute, but yeah, if you guys are interested in gifting it to yourself or to somebody else on Mother's Day, they are having a sale. If you guys are interested on how I install this wig, then just stay tuned for the video. Bye. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Deja. I'm back with the video. This video is going to be a wig tutorial. You guys know I'm not a wig girl, no chino shade. Um, but I have been seeing a trend of no baby hairs. I think I've seen Jackie Ina, I've seen Ms. Raj Posh. I see all of them start, you know, doing the no baby hair things. And every time I do a wig on my channel, I always say like I don't want to do baby hair, but I always felt kind of like obligated because it was like, you know, like I didn't know if it was weird to not get baby hair, but I do see that the girls is wearing it like that. And I do feel like that's more my speed anyway. So that's what we will be doing. I got this wig. Oh, I got this wig. I got so many wigs, y'all. Like I'm about to, and you guys know, sometimes I'll be selling them online because I always get wigs sent to me. But I got this wig that I think is, it's got to be 22 inches. So I got this wig that we're going to be playing with. And if I remember the, um, where I got this from or who sent this to me, I will have all the links and stuff down below. I washed this wig and I never put it on my head. Like, I never even got to it. Like, and plus, I think I'm a 4 by 4 girl. Don't judge me, okay? Because... I am a 
put it on and go. Like the whole frontal thing be a reach. <laughs> it's just not for me. Shout out to the girls that like could do it, like, you know? Cause if this is your speed and that's all for, like, you know, go for it, girl. But this is the wig that we're gonna be working with and it is pretty plucked, but if it does need a little bit extra, which it probably might, then we could work with it like that. And yeah, how you guys doing today? If you guys missed me, if you guys are new here, make sure that you guys subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys notified when I do post. I do post daily uploads at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of variety. So I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 210 Classic. And I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna be putting that on the wig, on the knots. Now these knots didn't bleach that well, if that, if you care about stuff like that, it really didn't bleach that well, like at all, like, which is crazy. <laughs> which is crazy, but we're gonna be taking this. I really didn't care that it didn't bleach that well either because I'm like, I come to the realization that I don't be thinking most wigs look natural at all. Like, they don't be looking natural to me. It don't matter. Like, I don't know. I feel like when it comes to wigs and I put them on, I never feel like 100% confident when I go outside. And I've, and I've gotten my hair done, like, professionally, like, with a lace. And I just felt like, mm -hmm. I then brought wigs off girls that, were, that was already pre-plugged bleached and styled and everything and i like the wig don't get me wrong the wig was nice you know the wig was nice but once i put it on my head i felt like okay now i look a little orange that's not what scalp look like i just felt like it never gave to me it never gave to me and i hope nobody that does hair professionally is watching this because don't judge me okay this is a judge-free zone but I'm like, okay, the girls is doing no baby hair. Like, it's a thing. Let me try it. Because although I always felt like I didn't want to do baby hair, it's because I didn't really know how. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like wigs and baby hair was always so bulky on me. Like, it was, it just always gave bulk. And I feel like I got a little head. I got little features that when I feel like anything that's big or like even big baby hair, it just look, it's just not flattering. Let me put this right here. This day. It's real good, I know that's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be taking my Red One Aqua Hair Wax. This is the best edge control that you could ever get. It smells like watermelon, right? Yeah, it smells like watermelon. It smells mad good. I get this from Amazon. And right now, I'm just going to be pushing back my um my edges, like sleeking them back. Because this, the hair wax will have your edges sleek. And I think a lot of girls, when they buy an edge control, that edge control mumbo jumbo don't be having nothing. It don't lie. And I don't like to do the ball cap method because all I really got is a little piece of baby hair. I'm not ready for those to rip out yet, okay? I'm just, it's not worth it. <laughs> All I got is baby hair, okay? <laughs> it's not worth the bull cap method. And that's another thing. I feel like some wigs, you need the bull cap method because um, some lace really be thin. So you can see this part right here. You just don't look flat right now. I'm just taking the same, um, What's it called? Foundation. And putting it on my stocking cap just to like mimic the color of my scalp. But yeah, what was I saying? The reason why I'm I'm so happy that the whole um what's it called? Baby hair thing is is coming about because I need a good protective style, like one that's really gonna make me still feel pretty and confident because don't get me wrong, I love faux locks. 
but I feel like if it don't look like real, <laughs> I feel like if it's not real faux locks, I think I belong in the movie How High. You know, when he was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's what it gives, <laughs> for sure. Let me tighten this. And I don't be wanting no big, bulky locks. And I've tried them individual too, but then I don't want to sit and, um, I don't want to sit in the chair for that long. And then with knotless braids, I feel like once they start looking old and dingy, it's not a vibe. And then with clip-ins and stuff like that, I still have to, um, what's it called? Straighten my natural hair for leave out. I'm just like... I, the only thing that I really love doing is ponytails. <laughs> That's it. I love a good ponytail. Like, and then, but with ponytails, I feel like when my shit is in a ponytail, my hair is not done. But it's like, I don't know. So we popping this on. Okay. Now I didn't really do nothing to it but tighten the wig and, um, what's it called? Tighten the wig. And what's it called? Put the foundation on it, and it already looks like a difference, right? That's crazy. So, right now, I'm just gonna be taking my hot comb and hot combing this back so I can see how much I gotta plug. But yeah tapings was out I, I remember when i first started doing tapings before everybody even started talking about tapings so crazy i was doing tapings i really was and i was like wow and the reason why i started doing tapings is because i was always doing clippings for lily and i saw that tapings was on sale at one point and then i had purchased me some and then i remember posting on my instagram and it really became a thing. I'm not saying it became a thing because of me, but how crazy that it became viral once, like, you know, I've tried it. I'm like, wow, like, great minds think alike. Like, the girls was thinking about it, okay? The girls, the, somebody probably saw the sale, too. And I was like, you know what, let me see. Oh, I probably don't even, do I need to pluck it? One thing about Jackie, I ain't a shoot over like this. And call out with your day. <laughs> Throw it on and call out with your day. I don't know if I could give that. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. Now we gotta pluck this. I'm back. Tell the friend, tell the friend. But yeah. So, we really don't need that much plucking, but I just wanna show you guys how I really give it up because i'm not about to sit here in front like i do piece by piece okay sir and somebody just asked me about the the stalk that i had that's probably him that's coughing i like to just rip out <laughs> and that's why i said i don't be doing i don't i do whatever works for me now take your time oh let me break in the nail take your time because, of course, you don't want to have ball spots. But it's not given piece by piece, lady. <laughs> it's for real. But you see, I don't know if y'all can tell how much of a difference I made and how much hair I actually got out. But, yeah, I'm just going to pluck a little bit. Nothing too crazy because it doesn't really need it. But like I said, like, I'm so used to having thin edges that when I do put something that's thick and full like this on my edges, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. But I don't mind thin edges. <laughs> I really don't mind them. Don't get me wrong. I wish I had a little more, okay? I wish I had a little more. I wish it wasn't, um, what's, this, what's the word called? <laughs> Receding. But... I don't mind the thin the thinness of my edges. I feel like my like my head is small. Like I can't even picture myself with thick edges anyway. So right now I'm just gonna do this. 
And I'm basically just brushing, acting like I'm brushing my hair with the tweezers. I know a lot of people do this while their hair is wet, but to be honest, I never really cared about it being too perfect. I'm just, I'm just thirsty because I don't gotta do baby hair. So if it really looks nice, this is probably gonna be my protective style. Cause although I didn't like the baby hairs, I will always end up still cutting it. Like, like I never was like, and it will always be like, oh, you know what? Let me do a little baby hair. And little baby hair will be like, turn into like me just clipping a whole chunk. Looking dumb as So. <clears throat> okay, I'm not gonna please no more. But what I am gonna do is this. We're gonna spray it down. Yeah, it's not too shabby, right? I need to pull it down. Maybe this wax stick might help. I'm using a this G O I P L E wax stick. I'm going like this a little bit so that I can actually see what I'm doing because there's a lot of flyaways. And. When I lay this, when I lay it down, I want to see what it is I am laying down. But yeah, I need a good protective style. And I was thinking like, you know what? I don't like um, leave out. Maybe I could do, what's it called? Maybe I could do bangs. I feel like whenever I cover my face, like bangs is not the most flattering thing on me. Like, you know, like, don't get me wrong. It could it could be a look, right? It could be a look and it could give. And I was even thinking about cutting bangs in my real hair so I could wear my real hair more. Like a cute little Dora the Explorer moment. Then I'm like, nah. Because I just know that bangs ain't my favorite either. So I just want to protect this style that's like, you know, oof. I think I got a shape up. All right, you know what? The hair gonna fall this way. <laughs> the hair gonna fall this way anyway. <laughs> got me some scissors. I'm gonna cut by my ears. Half cut, we're gonna do the other side. I'm putting my career first. I don't want to date. That's how I've been the last, like, for a minute now. Like, I don't want to date nobody, you know. I want to just focus on my career, you know. So, next I'm taking the BioSilk Silk Therapy Light. I don't know why I got the light one. I actually got this from TJ Maxx for $13. And this is usually $24. So if you guys are interested in this, go get this from your local TJ Maxx. I get a lot of hair products from TJ Maxx, like Chi and all that. Instead of like going to, what's it called? Sephora or Ulta and stuff like that. I don't go there for that stuff no more. I just go straight to TJ Maxx. But I'm putting this on my hair. I actually put a lot, but yeah, that's all right. Now we're going to style it. So, yeah. I, um, I'm going to try to remember to link the quantum jumping video in this. Underneath this. Um, in my description box. So that you guys can check it out. And maybe, you know, it might work for you. Especially if you 
like to meditate. I know a lot of people don't believe in meditating, but I do. I like to um I like to meditate because I feel like that's when my creative juices start flowing. I'm just cutting the ends. That's when my creative juices start flowing. Even like like I got inspired to do a wig video from meditating like you know i need to be in a calm pace for me to think about content that i, that I can even do because otherwise i just my mind and stuff be jumbled so if you are going through something like that then definitely check it out because <sighs> I, I could I, I could really think perfectly fine like when i'm meditating like everything is clearer, everything makes sense. Now I'm just gonna throw some light curls in here. And then once it's curled, I'll freaking um cut some more layers in it. Okay guys, so my flat iron is back hot. And I'm gonna be putting some light curls in here, nothing too crazy. Now I know a lot of girls are doing like the whole rollers thing and that is not my thing like i don't think <laughs> like it's cute it's you know the curls be cute the curls be cute but the curls are still going to drop so i can't imagine putting all that effort into putting rollers and stuff in my hair and that still drop like it's, that makes no sense to me like i can't believe the girls is doing that I can't believe the girls are doing that. And I and it's like I, I understand like if you're doing your hair and you put the rollers in so that you could finish getting ready. I get that. What I'm saying is you don't need that step if you are about to just walk out. Like, you know? Like, you know, I don't think you need that step. I think that step is very like the only way I can see myself really putting rollers in my hair is if I do my hair in the morning time and then I'm keeping the rollers in all day. Like, you know, until I'm ready to walk out. But to just like curl it and then put rollers in, put my clothes on, take the rollers out, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's quiet. It is so quiet for that. But, hey. And that's one thing I love about social media is that not everything you see you have to do or like not everything that people do or recommend you have to do so if that isn't for you and you know like i'm not doing all that then you i don't think you need to do all that <laughs> period that's crazy like i see so many girls doing that now and i'm be like like they'll come on here well but you i don't know but who knows what they be doing? And I'm like, are, is everybody doing this now? Like the whole roller thing? Like it does give you a certain curl, but those curls still drop. Like in a matter of minutes, seconds, hours, the same way as it would do if you use a bumper or a flying or a wand curler. Like, I don't know. But hey, maybe I'm just chatting. You go through this. You see, one, two, three. And this took me two minutes, and I'm already done half my half this out of my head. I'm so low maintenance. I just don't be having time. I really don't, <laughs> don't be having time to be doing like extra stuff. That's why I was also mentioning that I think I'm a four by four girl. A good, maybe even a five by five. I, I'm a five by five girl, but it's hard to find five by five wigs. I only have one five by five wig, and that's my favorite one. That's my favorite wig, like. But it's actually getting thin now. That's how much, like you know, I will, I have been leaning towards wearing that wig. Is that my five by five? <laughs> that all I <out>? nah. <laughs> my five is getting thin. Like, I just love a good, like, you know, glueless. Because even though they say, like, frontals be glueless and stuff like that, 
Granted, it be glueless, but you just the flat is come on. And I was so confused at first, like, oh, glueless is so good for your hair. Until I realized the only thing that really made it glueless was was the band that they put in there. And of course, they measure it to your head, but it's still a frontal. It's still a frontal. I thought it was a whole like different little setup, but it's still a frontal. And some brand was actually like offering to do it with me, like send me a wig and do a video and stuff like that. But they tried to offer me 16 inches and I'm like, no, thank you. I don't want 16 inches right now. I feel like if you're asking me to do something for you, I should get what I want. Oh shit. I feel like I mad um wigs already that is like that length. So I just didn't have no enthusiasm on working with a brand if they not giving me what I want. And plus I'm not a wig girl, I'm not a wig channel. Come back. I don't want those and it was kinky curly. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that would have been one of the wigs I could sell. I knew I wasn't going to wear it, and I didn't want to, I don't know, I just feel like brands, they, they be trying to do funny, funny business, and it's not giving up. No, no thank you, ma'am. So I'm like, you know what, now that you think, now that you mention it, I could do a little wig video with the wigs I have. And then main thing to curl in your hair is always curl away from your face. Oh, always curl away from your face, never towards your face. My Instacart keeps texting me and it's like, ma'am, just get what it is. <laughs> Just get what it is. <laughs> like, like sometimes Instacart be feeling like you ever had a man that you tell him the specifics and they still like find a way to ask you questions and it's like, like <laughs> that's why sometimes when it comes to Instacart, I wish it was female. Cause you can't, you know, you can't send a man to the store. You know you cannot send a man to no store. Like, that's why as soon as I see like a man, I just be like, Ugh. But it's like some things I need to get on Instacart. Like all my seafood I have to get on Instacart because there's no seafood right by me. Unless I take a cab somewhere and I just don't feel like taking no Uber or nothing. For one thing, like, you know, like certain, the supermarket that's near me, it's so many supermarkets near me, but a lot of them mostly have everything I need. But when it comes to like seafood, I gotta go a little deep. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I put the light curls in there, and this is what it looks like. I do definitely have to take this off so that I can hot comb my part area, because I did switch it up. I did make it like a U-shape, because this, this way gets a little short on the side, and I wasn't feeling that. So this is what it's looking like. Okay, you getting somewhere. Let's see if it's going to look like it's all me. You think you think <laughs> you think the men over here are gonna think it's all me? <laughs> the girls are delusional, okay? Let's just flat keep saying flat iron. Let's just 
Let's hot comb this. The top part because it's so big. And I've got a bean head. Which is not making matters any better. So this is what it looks like up close. Look how good it look like. I can't believe like I had to wait until I saw it. Wait until I saw that other people was saying baby hips was okay. Cause it's like, come on, like, come on. This look like, like why was I so pressured into doing baby hair? Follow your own instinct. <laughs> Follow your own instinct. If you ever, like, you know, but that's why I just was like, you know what, it's not for me. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, do my own thing. When it came to wigs, shoot, that's when I started doing half wigs. I said, I'd rather just do my own baby hair. Because it was never looking right. But like, look how good that look. Why was I playing with my own time like that? Okay, let's cut this layer a little bit. I'm never doing, I'm wearing, I'm about to start wearing fronties again. My baby hairs was on fleek. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm not even wearing wigs. Like, come on. This looks so good. I'm ready to be someone's wife. <laughs> be someone's wife. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna wear it on. <clears throat> but yeah, I do think I'm about to start wearing wigs as protective styles again. I said that right in time. For springtime, huh? So don't quote me on that. But yeah, no, I'm good for a half wig. Not a half wig. A headband wig. Or, uh, or a four by four. Cause I could wear a four by four in the summertime. Be perfectly fine, girl. Perfectly fine. <laughs> perfectly fine with my little five by five. Facts. Don't knock it. Girl, I swear they don't like five by five. That wig was amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just the process. Yo. <laughs> and that's one thing about confidence, right? You have to know what works for you. You have to know what doesn't work for you. You have to know, like, just because you see other people doing it don't mean that it's for you, girl. Like, and that's, you know, that's when it comes to clothing, too. Like, all these new trends and it's not for everybody. It's not really not. And it, I know people probably going to say, like, feel away while we saying that because it's like, okay, a lot of people think that they can pull everything off. But you can't pull it off. If when you put it on, you're not feeling confident in it. That's what I mean. Like, you're not pulling it off, girl, because you go away that confidence. And if you're not feeling like yourself, it's for show. If you walk in and your clothes not fitting right, or you're wearing some shit that you know don't look good, or you're not feeling yourself in it, it's going to show. And the same with wigs. Like, if I have on a certain wig, or like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't even want you to be too close. And that's mad insecure. Like, that's why I just knew like it wasn't for me. I would never go on a date with a a, wig, a frontal wig on. Well, sure, I'm right now that I don't gotta wear no baby hair. The baby hair was a huge, you know, that was like dead giveaway. Girl, what are you doing? Okay, now the problem I'm having right now is the angle for my makeup. And I ain't taking off my highlight. What's happening? Ooh, you turning me. And this is, I can't believe the girls is doing ball cap method. Now that, that one right there was real hard for me to get hit to. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm like ball cap method. You pull everything out. And I ain't got butt so much. Definitely not for so much, girl. Ah! 
Guys, let me stop playing. <laughs> Now this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna spray it. It's not even laid yet. Let me put some makeup on right here. Because my makeup definitely was flipping off. I got mad scratches on my forehead because of majesty. Now I'm just going to take my wax stick and put it where my part is at. So I could actually hot comb this part because I didn't hot comb it yet. this to make it extra flat and train it to go a certain way right she's hot Okay, this is so this is what it's looking like before I lay it down again. And I must admit, no baby here is for me. What was that? Hmm? What? Oh. Huh? Now let me stop. Cause as soon as they see this little part right here, humble yourself, mamas. Come on. Okay, let's. I'm not even gonna hold you. And y'all know that when I do these big tutorials, I always be like, I don't, I don't like this way. I never feel like I like the way. But now that I'm like, oh baby, it's like, what's there not to like? Cause that be the only downfall, no tea, no shade. Cause it don't be like the wigs I be having be bad quality. The wigs, I never really had a bad quality wig. Especially one that was sent to me. I just, I just never could get jiggy with the whole. And make sure that when you spray before this part, you brush all the other silly hairs out the way. Because one little piece of hair will have your whole lace front looking dark for some reason. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's all I needed was a little confidence in my wig game. Now let me stop. I'm gonna lie, I hate hair on my floor. <laughs> I hate hair on my floor, but right now I'm just gonna be touching up my um the bottom of these curls. Y'all could I'm sure you guys clipped off by now, but I'm just gonna be touching up the bottom of my curls because I done brushed them out so many times from What's it called? I done brushed them off so many times. From hot combing it and stuff like that, playing in it that the curls was in janking. And now they janking. Hey, hey, hey. I'm excited. Cause I actually really like it. Look at that. And I 
really didn't do nothing extra to it. Wow, this is, I'm so happy that this is a trend now. I'm so happy. Did I tell you? I felt like the girls was clocking me. And I, I know it's probably like, girl, don't worry about what other people think, but it was already too late. I done already cut the baby hair into the week. I didn't even give them a chance to clock it. And I just never liked baby hair. So I just immediately was like, I'm just not going to wear the wig. Like, you know, if I didn't know how to do no baby hairs, I wasn't going to wear no wig, period. So I'm not even going to hold you and act like, you know, I wasn't discouraged. <laughs> down below if I remember it's from Amazon but um yes I'm so happy I could do no baby hairs and I like it this much no shade I'm so happy wow look at that look at that trendsetters I'm talking about well, I don't know who started the no baby hairs trend. Because I know I know it's not nothing new. I know it's not nothing new. But I felt like even when girls was wearing 4 by 4s they was trying to, when they say making a 4 by 4 look like a frontal, they meant making it look like baby hairs and stuff like that. Like, don't, don't act like, and don't comment on here saying that there's nothing new. I know that. What I'm saying is, like, you know, I feel like baby hair, no baby hair gave it that wig look. But now I feel like now that it's a trend and everybody's doing it, it's like it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable without having fake baby hairs. And now I can actually wear the wig, <laughs> you know? Don't, you know, fuck it. Don't judge me. Because if I was going to have to wear the baby hairs... You was not going to catch me outside lacking at all. I'm not going to catch me outside lacking. You know? Straight up. I was not going to do it at all. I said, maybe I'm just not supposed to wear a wig. Now, I am going to, you know, lay this bad boy flat. For a little longer, but I'm I, I'm about to I'm done recording. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. I do like it a lot. I am gonna lay it down more because I'm not going nowhere, so I don't mind just keeping a band on. But for the sake of the video, I am cutting it short. This is what it looks like. You know. I do like it a lot. Now, now that I know I like the wig without baby hairs and stuff like that, I'm gonna um tweeze it more, like pluck the knots a little bit more. But I like it, and I don't like putting makeup right here. That's why I put the makeup underneath it because once you do that, I feel like it's dead giveaway. But I like it. So if you guys are seeing that everybody's doing a no baby hair thing, I think you should try it. I think it's super cute, actually. And I do think that this is going to be my go-to protector style. So now on, with and without makeup, because I think it looks really good. What you think? Yeah, I'm going to have to lay it down a little bit more. Or maybe put some makeup on it. Just this part right here. Because if the wind blow, if that wind blow is over. But I like it. I think I got the wig pretty flat for me not to be have to pluck it. Because usually plucking will take me like an hour. And I'll be like, Ugh, 
you think you plucked enough and you need to pluck more. That's how I be given. And I like it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you guys like wig tutorials. Comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys know first when I do post. I do post daily uploads at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.